What's up guys, Ghulam Ahmed with GeneActivated.ca. Welcome back to day nine of the Ramadan at home fat loss series. Hope you guys are having an amazing month so far. It's been quite some days now. I think it's about 12 days in Ramadan. Hope you guys are having an amazing journey so far, increasing in your spirituality and you know, getting closer to your creator. Today we're gonna get started into our workout for day nine. And again, it's gonna kind of be similar to, to day four of the first week but we're gonna change a little bit of the variations of the exercise and make it a little bit difficult. And at the end, I'm gonna go through another great back stretch for you, which is gonna help to release some tension on the side of your back. It's called the QL stretch, so make sure you tune in until the end so you can really get benefit from that stretch. So today what we're gonna do is we're gonna start out with a new exercise. It's called cross runs right in the beginning. It's a cardio exercise. What you're gonna do is you're gonna keep your feet across like this, okay? Keep your hands at your hips, and then you're gonna switch your feet in the same spot that you're at. And then you're gonna continue doing that back and forth. So we're gonna start off with three sets of 25 cross runs, okay? So if I show you from the side, you're gonna keep your feet like this, and then you're just gonna switch as you bounce back and forth. And then you just switch your feet and you back, bounce back and forth. So if I show you from the front, it's here and back, okay? So I'm actually gonna show you from the side, we're gonna do three sets of 25. Are we ready? Okay, let's go and go. One, two, three, four, six, seven, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Very nice, guys. Not bad, huh? What do you think? That was pretty good. So we're going to do, that was our first set. We're going to take a little break, 30 seconds, and breathe. So breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. I was breathing out now. Very nice, almost ready to go for the second set, guys. In about three, two, one, let's go this side. Ready, and let's go. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep breathing, guys. 20, one, two, three, four, five. Good, okay, second set is done. Let's take another 30 seconds. We're gonna breathe, get into the third set. First exercise is almost there, okay? Very nice, guys. Hope you guys are enjoying these workouts. Please do let me know in the comment section below how you're finding them. Send me videos of you guys doing the workouts. I'll even share them on my, on my videos as well. And I'll really, really, really help other people get inspired to do these workouts too. Almost there. Okay, let's go. One, two, four, Five, six, seven, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so I know it's going a little bit faster. You don't have to go that fast. You can take a little bit longer, right? You can kind of switch one at a time here. Switch, switch, switch like that as well. Okay, so don't worry. You don't have to go that fast. You can pause. You can take your time, and then you can. Play it again. So let's take a minute break now. Our first exercise is done. We're gonna breathe and then we're gonna get into the second exercise, okay? Very nice. So uh, if you guys remember, we did some workout with some bottles of tail last week. So if you have those, if you use the uh, a, 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 what's it called? A bag of rice or a bottle of you know oil. Let's get that, okay? We're gonna do some one arm rows again. If you have dumbbells at home, that would be great too. So I'm gonna use a dumbbell. We're gonna do three sets of 10 to 12 this time, one arm rows per arm, okay? So I'm gonna get my dumbbell over here and we're gonna get right into it. So we're gonna split our legs here, okay? We're gonna put our elbow on the thigh here, okay? Keep the back straight, look straight ahead in front of you. Take the elbow to your up to your hip. Squeeze for a second and bring it back. One. Squeeze. Two. Squeeze. Three. You want to reach ahead of you so you get a bigger stretch in your lats here, in your back. Squeeze. Four. Squeeze. Five. Squeeze. Six. Squeeze. Seven. Squeeze. Eight. Nine, beautiful guys. 10, 
We're gonna do two more this time. 11 and 12, beautiful. So now we're gonna switch sides. Keep the back straight, look straight ahead. Two, squeeze, take the elbow to the hip. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Very nice guys, you're doing amazing. Nine, keep breathing. 10, 11, and 12, very nice. So you can use a bench as well to do this. So you can put a bench here, put your knee on the bench, hand on the bench, and then pull. I like to use my body a little bit because it kind of forces me to engage my core more. So you can do either or, okay? So let's breathe for the, for the 30 seconds. Guys, if you made it this far, you should be very proud of yourself. Day nine is, is getting pretty tough now. So good work, keep going. You know, I'm loving the support. You guys are doing amazing, okay? I'm really proud of you. So keep breathing now. And we're gonna do our second set, okay? So with this, you wanna make sure you're not going up this way, okay? Make sure you take the elbow back towards your hip. Otherwise, you're just gonna be doing a bicep curl. Four, good, squeeze, five. Oh, and six, seven, squeeze, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, beautiful, switch sides. Ready, and let's go, squeeze, one, Two, three, four, five, beautiful, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and ah, very nice, twelve. So, again, if you want to take this to another level, you can just increase the weight, right? Or you can go a bit for a little bit more reps, you can maybe do 15 reps if you want, right? Great way to build a little bit of back muscles, maintain the muscles in the back, and just overall increase your strength in your back, okay? So that was your second set, we got one more, let's breathe, okay? Good job guys, you're doing great. Stay with me. We got one more now, okay? Let's do the third set, great. Ready, and okay, let's start. One, squeeze, two, squeeze, three, squeeze, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12. Beautiful. Now we're going to switch sides. Ready? Okay. And let's start. Come on. One. You got it. Let's go. Two. Third set. Three. Almost there. Breathe. Four. Push through. Five. Let's go. Six. Breathe. Seven. Eight. Nine. 10, two more, come on, almost there, you got it, one, last one, pull strong, 12, good, okay, good job guys, three sets of 12, one arm row is done, let's take a minute break, Sorry, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna do side planks, and we did this last week as well, so we're gonna do the same thing, we're gonna do three sets of 15 per side, side, side plank holds, these are, tough, these are very, very tough, so we're gonna move up the progression slowly, it's gonna target the side of your obliques here, so we're gonna take a few minutes now, sorry, a few seconds, we're gonna breathe, catch our breath, and then we're gonna move on, okay? So let's breathe. So last time, I taught you how to do it with both of your legs straight. This time, I'm gonna teach you a different variation that's gonna take out the lower leg out of the equation and make it a little bit more tougher, okay? So you can try either or. If you felt like last time was very easy for you, you can try this variation. 
if you felt like last time was tough, then just stick with what, I'm, what, we, what we did last time, okay? So what you're gonna do is, get onto the floor, again, your elbow is right underneath your shoulder, right? So what we're gonna do is, last time we did this, kept both feet together, and then we just raised our hips off the floor, and we kept our hands straight, right? Today what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the top leg, bring it down underneath the bottom, bottom leg, and put the bottom leg on top of the, uh, the top leg, okay? So here, and then we're gonna push up, right? So this is gonna take the whole lower portion off and it's gonna really focus on the side of the obliques. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You wanna fight to keep this hip up. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Good job, guys. Let's switch sides. So ready, we're gonna again put the bottom leg at the bottom, sorry, the top leg at the bottom and the bottom leg at the top. And we're up. One, make sure your hips don't go back, they're forward, okay? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Good job, guys, beautiful. Right, we're gonna take a 30 second break. I'm gonna take a break with you guys down here. As I'm getting a little tired, these days are tough. Just keep you in your prayers, guys. Doing a lot of work for you guys. Hopefully, this really helps you guys out and gets you to the next level in your health and in your fitness as well, as well as your spirituality. So let's breathe, okay? Great work, guys. We got one more set, ready to go? Okay, let's go. Do this side now. Again, bottom le top leg at the bottom, bottom leg at the top. Ready? And we're up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Now, if you feel like you can hold it for longer, by all means, hold it for longer. Try 20 seconds, try 25 seconds, right? If you feel like it's a little too easy, you can always increase the progressions by increasing the time on the, under tension. So now we're gonna switch the other side and hold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Make sure your hips are forward. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and Beautiful, 15, good job guys. Take another 30 second break, let's breathe. Swipe off some of that sweat. Whew. I don't know where all the sweat is coming from, barely drink any water during Ramadan. But this is great, this is great. You know, this means your body's working, it's filtering out the, 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 the sweat and the heat. And you have great circulation, so keep breathing. Okay, let's go. Third set, ready? And we're up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You guys are doing great. 10, keep going. 11, last set, 12, 13, 14, and fight, and 15. Beautiful. Let's switch sides. And top leg at the bottom, bottom leg at the top, and we're up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Fight to keep that hip up. Thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Beautiful, guys. Three sets are done. Good work, right? So now we're gonna do another exercise that we did last week, which are called side lying leg raises. I know that one was a tough one last week. I got some comments about it burning so good. So that's gonna work on the side of your butt here, your gluteus medius, and that's another area that is very, very underworked for most of the population and causes a lot of black back issues as well. So we're gonna work on that, especially if somebody that has a, has a, um, has a desk job and sits a lot. 
those muscles really start to sleep and become dormant. So we need to wake them up. So this is a great exercise you can do at home and it's really gonna open up those, uh, uh, those muscles and uh, or wake them up and really help to support your lower back so your lower back doesn't take all the tension. So let's breathe and then we're gonna get right into it. We're gonna do three sets of 20 per leg. Last time we did 15, it was tough. We're gonna add a little bit more this time. Okay, ready? So swipe that sweat a little bit. Working hard for you guys here. Okay, now we're gonna do some sideline leg raises. Okay, so again, what we did last time was we kept this arm straight, right? Making sure the hip is forward, not falling back, right? And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna raise our heel up towards the roof, but point the toe away from you like this. Squeeze, one, two, three. Now, if you're getting like all the way up here, you're not doing it right. You shouldn't be able to go too high if you're using this muscle, right? If you're going too high, that means what's happening is by the time you're going up, your hip is rolling back. Your hip should not roll back. It's gotta keep forward here. That's why I have my hand here, right beside my butt on the side here, so I can see and feel where my hip is going as I go up, right? So let's start from the from from zero. Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> let's go. So we're gonna go one, squeeze, and back. Again, point your toe out. Two, you'll feel it right here on the side. Three, four, five. These are difficult, guys. Six. I'm already feeling it. It's only at six, seven. So if you if you're getting it into the right groove, eight, it gets pretty difficult. Nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, very nice, 16, let's go, 17, no, don't, don't catch your hip going back, 19, and 20, good, so that burned pretty good, it's pretty tough, we're going to move on to the other side. Okay, ready, let's go. The hip forward, toe out, and go one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. Stay with me guys, nine, come on, you got it. 10, I know it's getting tough. 11, you can do it. 12, you're doing amazing. 13, let's go. 14, push through, 15, kick up, 16, breathe, 17, squeeze, 18, ooh, 19, nice, and 20, beautiful, let's take a break, 30 seconds, and then we're going to do two more rounds, okay, so let's breathe a little bit, right, catch your breath. Breathing is also a great way to buffer out the lactic acid through the carbon monoxide that we, sorry, not the carbon monoxide, the carbon dioxide that we let go when we exhale. So sometimes you get that burn in the muscle. A great way to buffer that out and get that down is just to breathe more, breathe better. Okay, ready? Let's go, second set. All right, hips forward in position. Oh, sorry, we also did this last week. We pulled the leg back, right? So the reason I do that is so that it kind of helps you ground yourself and you don't shift your hips forward, uh, sorry, backwards. So again, bring the back leg back 90 degrees and then we go up one, two, three, four, five, six. You want to kind of pause for a second at the top, seven, then come up. Eight, again, nice and controlled, nine, 10, beautiful guys, 11, 12, squeeze, 13, 14, ooh, 15, 16, 17, 18, push through guys, come on, two more, let's go, you got it, ah. 20, yeah, I was struggling there a little bit too, so that's good, right, everybody's gonna struggle based on their own body weight, right, so, 
It's a great exercise. Like I said, it's a very small muscle and it's very underworked for the most of the population. So it gets tough and that's good. Now we're gonna go do this side. Get in position, the back leg is back. And let's go one, two, three, four. We're almost done guys. We have one more set here, five. Then we have one more exercise. And then like always, we're gonna do a one stretch at the end to cool down and you guys are all done. Day nine, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, very nice, ah, 15, 16, good job guys, 17, 18, 19, and good, 20. Okay, beautiful, second set is in the books. We have one more to go, let's breathe. We're gonna take 30 seconds. Again, guys, you can always repeat these exercises even after Ramadan is done, just to do some workouts at home, just to stay in shape and you know keep your health going. Feel free to share these with your friends, even that, that are not fasting, it'll help out anybody. Ready to go? Let's do the last set, okay? Let's get in position. Back leg is back, bottom leg is back towards the wall. And let's raise it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Beautiful. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, fight through, come on. 17, if it's really burning, you can stop at 15. 18, it's okay. 19, but if you can fight through, fight through. And 20, good. Good job, guys, you're doing great. Let's do the last set on this side. And then we're gonna move on to our last exercise for the day. Okay, ready? Foot is back, and one. Two, three, four, beautiful. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Try to get fight to get it as high as you can. Sixteen. 17, 18, good job guys, 19, and ah, very nice, 20, okay, well done guys, that was your third set, now we do the last exercise, which we did last week as well, which is called the bird dog, guys, it's one of the pillar exercises that you want to do if you want to have good lower back stability and core stability work, and you don't want to get ever, ever get injured with your lower back, so it's a great exercise to do, that's why I'm going to repeat it. So last week we did three sets of eight per side. This week we're gonna, so I think we did six to eight. This week we're gonna try to do 10 per side, okay? So it's really gonna get a little bit tougher. And I really want you to make sure that you're holding it for a second and then returning to the right spot, right? So it's gonna take a little time, but you gotta make sure you wanna engage your core and that your hips don't shift, okay? So let's breathe a little bit and then we're gonna get right into the last exercise, okay? All right, okay, we're ready to go. So again, bird dog, you wanna get onto all fours. You wanna make sure your hands are right underneath your shoulders and your knees are right underneath your hips, right? And what we're gonna do is, we're gonna engage your core, drop the shoulder blades, and then we're gonna release the opposite hand and the opposite leg in front of us and behind us. So, pause for one second and pull them back at the same rate. Again, engage your core, make sure your hip doesn't turn right and left. That's one. Engage. That's two.
three and three engage again make sure your hips don't change four four beautiful engage five five beautiful six six engage seven seven eight eight engage good nine nine one more engage and ten ten all right guys so that was the first set done for the bird dog good job you're doing great let's take a 30 second break and now we're going to get into the second set and keep breathing So this exercise looks easy, but it's actually very, very challenging, especially for strengthening your lower back and for your core. And it's a great exercise for overall stability for your core. And if you have any low back issues, it's great to strengthen the lower back. So now let's get into the second set. So what we're gonna do again is here, brace your core, hold one. One. Two, two, three, three, four, four, five. Five, very nice. Six. Six. Seven. Seven. Eight. Eight. Nine. Nine, one more. Ten, engage. And ten. Beautiful. So that's the second set done. Breathe. We've got one more to go. And then we're all done for today's workout, guys. You're doing amazing. And then we're going to do a stretch, which is going to be again for your lower back. Since a lot of people have low back issues, I try to focus more on the lower back stretches to kind of help relieve the pain. So we're going to keep breathing. Okay, let's go. Last one. Let's finish strong, guys. You're doing amazing. Engage the core, drop the shoulder blades. Pause, back, one. One. Two. Two. Three. Three, four, four, very nice, five, five, beautiful, six, six, make sure to engage. Seven, seven, eight, 
eight, nine, nine, ten, and ten. Beautiful, guys. That's it. That was your workout for today. You guys did a wonderful job. Now we're gonna take a few seconds, take a little break, and then we're gonna get into the stretch, which is called the QL stretch. And it's again a part of your lower back stretches. It's called the quadratus laborum stretch, which is a muscle that's in your lower back that attaches from your hip to the top of your rib cage in the back of your spine. And what we're gonna do is, let's take a second to breathe, open up your legs like this. You're gonna take the inside of your hand, right? And you're gonna put it on the side of your leg here. And the idea is to take the opposite hand at the top and reach above your head and try to touch the toe on the opposite end. Right now, if you can see, I'm stuck here because mine is kind of tight. The, the muscles in the back here, it attaches there, it's kind of tight. But the way to loosen it is breathe in your stomach. Every time you breathe in and out, you should be able to get closer and closer to the toe. So watch this. So I'm breathing in here. And see, I'm getting closer and closer. So if I keep doing this for another 15, 20 breaths, I'll get pretty close to my foot, right? So that's what you want to do. You want to do about 15 to 20 breaths per side to kind of really loosen up the back there. And then you're going to go on the opposite end. Breathe. And every time you exhale, you should be able to get closer to the floor. See, that's not bad. I started from up here and I'm almost to my toes, right? So that's how you do that stretch, guys. It's a great stretch to do before you go to bed at night. Really open up the back release the tension in your lower back and making you feel really, really great. So that's it guys, that was day nine in the books. You guys did amazing, good job. Make sure you guys comment in the session below to let me know how you found it. And if you can share it with some of your brothers and sisters in this month of Ramadan and help them out as well with their fitness, that would be you paying it forward. Thank you so much for joining me guys. I'll see you guys next time on the Fat Loss Ramadan at Home Workouts.